we will discuss about zero one knapsack problem so what is the difference between uh, fraction knapsack and zero one knapsack so in zero one you can't divide objects into parts in fraction knapsack we have taken that uh, we can divide uh, we can divide that uh, of each object as a some part if it is giving higher profit uh, then we will include that and if it is not giving higher property we will take it. if it is possible we will take some part in that other object and we will include it in the max uh, output list so here in the knapsack problem what will happen objects not possible to break into parts and one more you can include object if you are including that you have to include fully if you are not including that you have to make it as zero inclusion so we will take some example that we are having n equal to 3 n means total possible objects are 3 so profit p1 p2 p3 those values are 25 15 and 20 and m is the maximum weight of knapsack so we can you can fill bucket up to 20 maximum weight okay so the weights weights given that 12, 10, 10. So here in 0 and NAPSA, there is no predefined algorithm or no predefined strategy. In If you see in a fraction NAPSA, there is a greedy algorithm for that. Here there is no predefined strategy like that. See, we will discuss two methods here. What are those? One is brute force method and other is dynamic programming. So, in brute, in brute force method, compute all feasible solutions. Whatever possible solutions, compute all the feasible solutions. Then determine profit for every subset and which, whose sum less than or equal to maximum weight. So here we will see what is the computation of all, what are the all feasible solutions. So we have three objects. So these are the three objects. So now I included only zero object. So if I include, there is no option in the bucket. So if you consider, this is the bucket. I put zero objects. So there is nothing, there is no profit and there is no weight. So this is okay. Then if you are putting only one object, that is P1, one object. So what is the profit of this? 25. So, so profit is 25. So weight is 12. For other one, profit is, if you put second one, if you remove this, if you put it second one, then you will get 15 as profit and 10 as max weight. So here, same thing. 3, if you include 3, only 3, 20 you will get profit and 10 is the weight. If you take 2 objects at a time, 1 and 2, you are including 1 and 2 objects at a time. If you include 1 and 2, 25 and 15 will give 40 and weight is 12 plus 10, it will give 22. Here, this is a brute force algorithm. We have to take all feasible solutions to power n. Here, 1 comma 3. We have seen 1 comma 2, then 1 comma 3. What is 1 comma 3? 25 and 20. It gives 45. And weight 12 and 10. It gives 22. Then, include 2 comma 3. What is 2 comma 3? See, the subsets mm -hmm. with the, yeah, all the possible sets. 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3. So there is other than uh, 1 comma 1 is nothing but 1 only. So 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3 is 15, 35, 20. So 35 and 20. Here take all this 1, 2, 3. It will give max profit as 60. Weight is 32. The condition is what is the our condition? You should not exceed the capacity. You should not exceed the maximum 
you should not exceed the maximum capacity, right? Capacity less than or equal to m. So here, whatever greater than or greater than m, you can directly discard those things. So what are those directly greater than m? So you can see this. This combination is eliminated directly. So this combination also eliminated directly. And this combination also eliminated directly. Why? Because the weight is more than what you want to. Weight is, max weight is 20. Less than or equal to 20. But you exceeded 22. If you include both objects, then it is crossing 20. 20. Here also same thing. Here also 32. So, you directly eliminated these solutions. So, what is the best solution? What is the best uh, solution among all these uh, remaining things? See, here profit is 35 highest. So, you have to go by profit. So, profit is high here and max weight is less than or equal to it is less than or equal to 20. It is true. So, you can say that include P21, P3, then it will give profit as 35. Total, how many feasible solutions are there for n objects? So, with n objects, with n objects, with n objects, you have 2 power n feasible solutions. Feasible solutions. In here, you have to calculate all the feasible solutions and then you have to eliminate whichever crossing the limit or capacity of the maximum weight of the given problem. Here, what is the time complexity? Time complexity is time complexity equal to order of 2 power n. 